is not what you are that holds you back. It's what you think you are that usually holds you back. Hi, welcome back. In case it's your first time here, this is Elevation Chapter, a space that promotes human connection, spreads positivity to recover humanity. And my name is Nelly O. Please join our tribe by subscribing to the channel, like and share the video. I have come to a realization that one of the biggest struggles human beings face is to truly, truly acknowledge ourselves and all that we get to do. I know from my own experience that this isn't a simple transition to make. We spend a lot of time beating ourselves up for the mistakes we make and comparing ourselves to others. And other times, we consistently look outside of ourselves for praise. We want others to remind us or notice how fabulous we are as human beings. The truth is, it doesn't matter how much others notice or give you praise unless you feel it within yourself. And please, get me right. I am not saying it doesn't feel sweet and amazing to receive recognition. Come on! <laughs> It does, it does feel so nice, it feels so sweet. When it happens to me, I feel like, Ugh, this is happening. But you know, you have to feel it yourself first before it comes from the outside. So right now, I know we are currently having mixed feelings about the end of 2021. You seem to be seated on this hot pot, <laughs> the hot pot of excitement and worry at the same time. You're trying to flash back and things are not adding up as you had anticipated. This video right here is for you. We are going to talk about three ways to give yourself credit, to be your own super ever present cheerleader. And number one, create your own definition of success. We were deceived and we are still being deceived. The world deceived us about the definition of success and we all have fallen for it. My dear, we are wired differently and you know what? Things that make us feel like jumping out of our own bodies, those things are very different, way, way different. In other words, whatever makes you feel genuinely, genuinely fulfilled is way different from what makes me feel fulfilled. In fact, it might be 1,000 miles away from mine. That's how different we can be. So please don't allow the world's roller coaster to run over you. Define your own success. What is success to you? Define your own beauty. What is beauty to you? Define your own happiness. Define your own joy. What do they mean to you? How do they happen? And give yourself credit for it. If it's waking up early, if it's checking on your friends, if it's putting an extra minute in your workout, if it's visiting elders, if it's giving a helping hand, if, 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 name it all, name it all. What makes your heart skip a bit with joy and happiness because of your contribution and makes you feel worthy? What is it? Define it. And if you did it this year, go ahead and credit yourself for it. You deserve the credit. Learn how to define your own success. And number two, embrace mistakes. Who? Embrace mistakes. The best credit to give to yourself, the most sweetest credit to give you, is the one that comes after a couple of very many mistakes. Mm -hmm. Where you have slid, you have fallen, you have drowned properly, and then you finally swim through to the shore. That one over there is worth celebrating. And I know, yes, I do know, we all have those ones. Think about it. Think about them. They could be many or less. Find a place and cross your legs very well and credit yourself. And do it unapologetically. Whether you won or you didn't, at least there is something you did well. So go ahead and give yourself permission to credit yourself. Do it. I beg you, please, please do it. There is no successful person without a zillion fleet of mistakes 
and failures. And number three, become a 1% progress fanatic. Let me share a bit of my story with you. When I was in my primary school, I wasn't that kid that would be read out on the assembly to be among the top 10 in performance. No, <laughs> no way, I wasn't that one. And if you're there and you like me, shout outs, shout outs. In fact, if I remember very well, I remember my mom telling a friend of hers that I am an average kid. Mm -hmm. But in her conversation, she was happy about one thing, just one simple thing, that I wasn't going backwards that at least every time I would bring my school report, there would be progress of at least two or three positions ahead. I was mad. I was mad. Very mad. One, because she called me an average kid. And two, because she kind of made me a topic of their conversation. But I never understood what that meant until my adulthood. Guys, there is power in the 1% progress. Don't aim at 100%, not even 80%, not even 50% before you can credit yourself. 1% is a great move, powerful, powerful percentage. If it's consistent, it will land you right at the center of your promised land. Trust me on this. I'll probably elaborate on this next year, God willing, 2022. So yes, if there are things you have improved by 1%, please, please, please credit yourself because you ain't in the same position as you were last time. And that over there is progress. That is the definition of progress. It's never about the size of the win. It's always about the fact that it's a win. Progress is what matters most. So credit yourself. I guess with these three, you will be able to flash back in 2021 and see where to give yourself credit. Always remember you are your own super ever present cheerleader. Never ever forget that. And by the way, you can credit yourself for crediting yourself. Have you heard that right? I need to repeat it for you. It's allowed to credit yourself for crediting yourself. Oh yeah. You might have had numerous wins within the year and you are good at crediting yourself. Please, credit yourself again. Yahoo! <laughs> credit yourself for crediting yourself. Mm -hmm. That's a win over a win over a win. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. Let's grow our tribe together. And today's quote, maybe, you don't see people looking at you because you ain't looking at them. Maybe you don't hear all the good things people say about you because you are too focused on the bad. Maybe you are a lot more wonderful, beautiful, handsome, and special than you ever give yourself credit for. Hmm. Go ahead and give yourself credit. I love you all. Let's go. Cheers.